other Thursday, that's a Thursday before the Thursday that just just came up, we let a regular take control of the show in a segment called Regular Sound Off. <laughs> we didn't sleep that night coming up with that name. Tonight it's Rich Voss's turn to speak his piece. You know what? Thank you, Colin. As you know, not just a network star who headlines all over the country, I'm a single father, okay? Raising a child is the toughest job in the world, and it's even harder when you're divorced. With the helps of my daughters, Jessica and Ellen, I put together a helpful list of do's and don'ts for single parents. The first tip is to spend quality time with your kids. I suggest something simple like helping them with their homework. What are you working on, sweetie? Math. What is the square root of 144? Who knows and who cares? <laughs> Here's some real life homework. What do you call betting on hard ways while shooting craps? A sucker bet? That's right. Good girl. <laughs> Here you go. See, we're killing it. That brings me to tip two. Teach your children the value of a dollar. Ellen, what are you going to do with that dollar? Let it waste away in the bank? No, I want you to invest it for me at the track. Okay. Good girl. Now, I'm supposed to have you girls back to your mother in an hour, which leads me to tip three. Okay? If you got the kids here today and you know you're going to be late, it's common courtesy to call. All right? Hey, baby, I'll meet you at the club. I got to drop the kids off at the X's. Dad, you're supposed to call Mom and tell her we're going to be late, not your stupid 25-year-old girlfriend. Wow. How did you get so smart? I was, because I was born with some effing common sense. You know what? Watch your mouth. Here's tip four. <laughs> Don't talk badly about your ex in front of your children, no matter how tempting it is. For example, Jessica. Dad, Mom had five boyfriends this week. Wow, five. That's three more than last week. Mommy's on a roll. Good for her. <laughs> see, see how easy that was? Don't worry, I'll slam the bitch on stage later. But never in front of the kids. All right. First of all, let's get to some real Rich Boss stories. Ladies, <laughs> these are true Rich Boss things that he does often. Ladies, when Daddy takes you out for Daughter's Day, you go to the mall, what does he try to do? Pick up a girl. And how does he try to do it? He uses us to get to them. <laughs> <laughs> and what, is he, what kind of lines does he get you to say to them? He'll ask them if they could be their ste our stepmom for the night. And do they laugh? <laughs> they laugh and walk away. They laugh and walk away? <laughs> do you feel like sometimes it's your special time with Dad and he's using it to try and pick up chicks? Yes. With you guys, it's like the sympathy angle, like he's a good guy? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> and how does that make you feel? Terrible. <laughs> Very sad. Now, out of all Dad's awful friends, who do you think is the most awful? Jim Norton. Jim Norton. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll all agree, but what is so awful about Jim? He's a creep. He's a hack. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. But you have to admit one thing, girls, let's be honest. One thing about Jim, he's in tip-top shape physically. Here. He has man titties. <laughs> There we go, folks. I love you. I hope, <laughs> I hope these tips help all you single parents out there. Give your kids a kiss. Tell them you, know, you love them. You won't be sorry in the end. Oh, beautiful. <laughs>